welcome back to Scottish Hero. And here it is. We are finally in the championships. Which means if we manage to get promoted this season, I will get the National Hero achievement. And the goal of this series has been reached. But I think it's a long, long way to go before that happens. I'm definitely in no way certain I'm going to get promoted this season. I think it's going to be rough. Because uh, what my experience, I haven't played in the Scottish lower leagues before. But I'm playing lower leagues in other nations. And usually it's, it's uh, pretty easy during the first few seasons. But when I reach the second to the highest league, that's when the challenge kicks in. I've done many low league saves in, in England and I usually like face the role uh, League 2, League 1 and so on. And then, then I come to Championship and then I get stuck for like a few, one or two or three seasons. Uh, I don't know if it's, that's going to be the case in Scotland, but uh, I'm definitely fearing it will. So let's take a look at what, what's been going on during the summer. And I can definitely say I'm not in any way done with the, with the transfers, with the summer. Right now, uh, we need to strengthen our team in many positions. First off, Birdshell retired. Uh, we had three guys that left some free transfers. And then Dorjaev had been, so, had been sold. And this is, of course, it wasn't my bill. It was the board. They got an offer and I said no to the offer and then the board, like they overruled me and said uh, no, this offer is too good to say no to, so we are going to accept it anyway. And of course, uh, as you remember probably, Dojaev has been uh, one of our better players last season. He was one of our highest uh, average rating players, so definitely didn't want to see him go. And of course, they sold him to a league compared to us, us, so we will be up against him. The only thing we can hope for, for, for when we face Mother uh, Well is, is that he gets uh, some of those red cards that he been got, uh, has gotten a lot of times for us. And then for the signings, first off a loan deal, and uh, it's uh, Wilson, and you probably recognize him, because we loaned him last season also, and he was one of our uh, best players last season. Basically the only defender that played really well. So uh, I managed to loan him again. And um, another loan deal uh, has joined us. A uh, central midfielder from uh, Bristol City. Um, definitely needing, giving us some, uh, some depth in the midfield. Looks really good here uh, at the stats, I think. Really good. And uh, then another familiar name that joined us as a free uh, transfer, and it's Stanton. And Stanton, of course, was uh, probably our best player last season. Uh, I think he was named best player last season. Had the highest average rating, and it was really good. And now we managed to sign him on a free transfer. But as you can see, it's only three players that has joined us. I mean, more players are left. Which means uh, our squad right now is pretty, pretty thin. If you take a look, uh, I mean, goalkeepers, nothing has changed. Defenders. Uh, this is how we currently look. As you can see, I have uh, a guy here on trial right now that maybe we're going to sign as a free transfer. If we can get a gold deal, good deal. Uh, a huge problem has been the, actually the free transfers. Because um, as you remember, during the last few seasons, I signed a lot of free transfers. But when uh, when I reached the championship, all of a sudden, like most of the most of the free transfer guys that try to sign, they have an agent that uh, designs uh, uh, that demands a huge amount of sign-on fee for for the agent. And as you know, I basically don't have any money. So when I turn it down to, no, to nothing for the agent and locks that one in, they just leave the negotiations asap. So it's been really hard for for me to get uh, to get free transfers. Um, but um, I basically would like to get a good send another good central defender. Because right now, uh, Wilson. I mean, the, the three things: the physicals of, of course important for for a central defender. But mainly, I look for for tackling, market marking, and heading. And if you take a look at the options I currently have, then we have waterfall, which is probably the second to the strongest. Twelve, eleven, eleven. He's weaker. And then we have uh, the third option, uh, Mr. Lang, 
11, 9, 10. So I would like to get uh, a central defender with uh, with stats more like Wilson. Uh, but uh, but it's hard. But I'm but I'm trying. But that's probably the position in the defense line we we most need to improve. And for the midfield, you can see we are getting pretty thin here. And um, also for the game today, we have two players that suspended from last season. It's uh, Linton and it's Lacey. So. We are missing two players, and Linton is basically our only decent uh, left winger, because Stanton, of course, is going to play in the middle, which means uh, this is also a position I've been trying. Because Stanton, uh, he has been a good player for us. Uh, he played uh, like every game during the last two seasons. But now when we reach the championship, he's starting to get a little bit weak. So I'm trying to find a left midfielder that uh, that could replace him as the number one choice uh, for for this position. Would like somebody with a like high on crossing, high on passing, high on dribbling probably. But uh, it's been really hard finding a replacement for him, and uh, we might even get a, a need, probably need to get another attacking central midfielder. Because right now, Isla is basically our only good option. I mean, uh, Dowling could play there also, but kind of would like them both on the pitch. Uh, so it would be great to find another good attacking central midfielder. Then for the striking department, uh, nothing has changed at all. I have a kind of interesting trial here that uh, I might sign. Be good finishing, be good uh, physicals. Um, but I'm not sure, because uh, when uh, Easter is fit, we're only going to play with one striker. And we have quite a few strikers right now. But that's basically what's been going on. As you can see, only three players has joined us. And two of them were players that were with us last season as loan deals. So basically, it's like one new player. And one new player to strengthen the team when you have get promoted to uh, a new league. Um, I don't feel that's enough. I uh, definitely don't feel uh, that's enough. We we need uh, we need more players to to strengthen the squad. This uh, this is basically the team we had last season, and even if the team was good enough to get promoted from from League One, that says nothing. I mean, of of being good enough for, to to get promoted for in the championships. We we need some new signings, and um, the team we're up against today. Um, they are actually, at least last season, they were one of the strongest teams. They ended up at uh, at the playoff position. So they, they reached one of the top positions. So this is probably going to be a very hard game facing off against one of, uh, one of uh, the, the top teams ASAP. Uh, so I'm definitely, definitely worried about this game. Because it would be great for us to get a good start. But um, our team is not ready. It's not there yet. We still need to strengthen. We need to get two or three more signings. And I'm not sure if we're going to make it. But yeah, this is game on. The first game of the third season. First time in the championships. And uh, yeah, game on. Why is playing championship football? Isn't it fantastic? We are dominating the possession, um, we are getting more shots than them, but yeah, we this is basically is one player difference between last season and we have actually since we have had uh, lost uh, some of lone players, it's, we are weaker in many positions, um, especially in the, in, the, in the right wing. We we had a loan player there. I have made an offer to uh, to uh, the free transfer player and uh, the place as a right uh, winger, but an English I think League One club has also made an offer for him, and I'm guessing he's going to choose the the English club over us. That's um, probably what's going to happen. Unfortunately, a pretty boring first half. Only one highlight. Not much to talk about. The team need to know we are not pleased. Time to step it up for the, for the second half. Um, 
gonna wait for changing any instructions though because uh, they haven't managed to create much uh, if things change of course we are going to, to change things around I mean, we are creating a lot of shots here and a lot of shots on targets but still nothing that becomes a real highlight it's actually them attacking instead was that the highlight then it was very very non-key highlight that we got to see there well looks like uh this far into the game we are starting the season with a very boring game i think um since we are playing at home for, for the last part of the game we are going to go attacking if nothing changes throwing for them come on lads they're moving all the way back to intercept this yes we can is stanton is stanton clear by defense though and this looks like it's going to be a counter attack instead good interception beautiful day by waterfall and here is stanton again gonna take the shot yes he is and it's not too dangerous for their goalie so um let's see here Issa is really tired so it's time to go to strikers because that's basically the best uh best option we have to rotate him and um then we want to take a look at who is really tired Easton, of course so let's bring in smith and uh dowling is getting tired but you're not getting any rest um other than that use you as advanced and you as a deep line because you're a little bit better than Stanton at that position but um yeah who do you want to change here we have any good options in the midfield no we don't since two of our midfielders are suspended well for this game don't have any really good options the options there uh what could be we are going to go attacking now the last part of the game it worked into the box i guess we're good this for now let's see if um attacking can change things around because we have we are creating a much more if you look at statistics but we haven't gotten a really good highlight now i think we need to go for a sub because the lads are getting really tired so not a great option but uh they'll have to do We could actually sub uh, Kessler also because he haven't had a great day at work and you're gonna be a target man. Ten more minutes. Are we going to start our season with a uh, nil-nil game here? Looks like it. And they get an injury, but uh, not much time left now pretty pretty boring first game of the season if nothing happens here during the extra time and this is probably going to be the ref blowing the whistle but you never know small stanton should be able to win that back he's slow when he's injured the pressure maybe the goalie makes a mistake come on it's good jones Clock is ticking. Will we start this season with a draw? And we are starting the season with a draw. So what I want to say is, uh, um, of course, you want to win at home. But I'm still okay with this result because uh, it was um, the first game of the season. Our team is definitely not finished. We need to uh, improve it uh, further. 
and uh, and we were up against a team that reached the playoffs last season, so we're up against one of the stronger teams of the league. So the goal now will be, uh, up until the transfer window closes, will be to try to get a few more signings, hopefully one or two loan deals, really good players, would be fantastic. And uh, maybe a few free signings, also free transfers. But as I said, it's hard getting free transfers now because they all have a manager that is signed, a manage, uh, agent, I mean, that is signed a, a sign-on bonus for the agent. And that's really hard to get rid of and uh, we can't afford it. But yeah, a left midfielder would be great. Maybe one more central midfielder for, for rotation with injuries and suspensions and so on. Uh, we would like to get a right midfielder, and I'm actually considering to try to retrain Kessler's maybe asset because he's pretty good and he's a natural at attacking right midfielder, but not as a normal a winger. So maybe we can retrain him in that position because we have quite a few strikers even without him. And uh, yeah, maybe gonna sign Bird here, but as I said, I have a lot of strikers. He looks good, but then I'm gonna have four strikers when I usually only play with one. So uh, I'm considering it, it, I'm probably gonna do it if I can get him without an agent fee. Uh, and then either try to sign the right winger or retrain Kessler's and saying probably we need to sign off somebody for the left part here. But enough talking, that's it for this episode. The first game of the, of the third season is done and uh, we're on the championships. We are maybe one season away from getting the goal with this, uh, this um, serious achievement, but it's going to be rough. And worst case scenario, we're going to need two or three seasons here in the, in the championships before we reach it. But yeah, that's it. As always, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.